Greeting fellow Ventrac owners and enthusiasts. Um, this is the latest addition to my fleet uh, of uh, mowers and <laughs> tractors, destructive things. This is the Altos TRX 766i. <clears throat> so this comes with the uh, all-terrain deck. You might have seen these. If not, uh, don't watch the videos because you'll want one. So they come with tracks in the back. That's right, tracks. They've been making these, I think, six or seven years now. And they come with a, um, this is the biggest engine they make, is the Vanguard EFI 37 horsepower right there. 37 horsepower. <clears throat> uh, folding ROPS there, uh, rollover protection structure, and uh, spin-on oil filter. I just got it today, so I, I took it out for a short spin and trying to get uh, some first impressions of it. <clears throat> Seat is very comfortable, very responsible, uh, responsive uh, motors. The, uh, the, the wheels are ginormous. You can see how big those are. I got a size 12, so you, that's a really big, really wide uh, front wheel there. <clears throat> and it has these rubber bushings in here for, uh, what do you call it, uh, suspension dampening there, <clears throat> the vibration dampening. And, you know, you see a lot of videos on YouTube of these, and they just kind of like run through these, and they don't really explain too much how they work, whatever. But you see, this is on a hinge here, so it bounces on. It's riding on that cushion. See, this is not part of this right here. <clears throat> so uh, it's riding on that. The... Uh, deck goes down to three inches i just slammed it it had another inch from here to here where this was halfway up there it has four adjustments to lower the deck another inch so i lowered that uh on all four of them around the uh, deck there hanger so that uh gives me down to two inches because i like to get really close has zerk fittings on the front axle <clears throat> um really uh, nice plush adjustable suspension seat there and uh you, you know that's really uh plush for a lot of these mowers you know that's like a six seven hundred dollar upgrade it's got the rubber mat on the, the flip up plate here so good access there uh, it's got your two-speed transmission high and low there <clears throat> you flip this up here you have access to your batteries and your terminal i'm going to Put on a, a canopy from Rhino Hide and add some some LED uh, uh, work lights so I can work at night in case uh, in the summertime I end up running uh, late into night. Twin fan uh, for each motor. One fan for each motor. I'm sorry, don't want to confuse you there for those hydraulic motors to keep those cool. <laughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> kind of getting over a little cold here. Interstate battery, quality battery. Uh, 300 uh, cold cranking amps so that's a really good battery for this sucker <clears throat> and uh, tool fuel tanks um, doesn't have both of them to use simultaneously it's left right or off which kind of bugs me I would want them to drain uh, equally but I guess this way you don't run out of fuel if you run out of one and you flip it over to the other uh, it's got this dial here for your your height uh, separate fuel gauge for each side that's nice keyless start so you put in your your code there and you can change it to whatever you want um, got the lights for the PTO it's got a soft start PTO <clears throat> um, so really nice I'm, uh, I've heard people say they've got it up to 45 degrees on slopes I won't tell you who said that or what but I'm looking to try it out I think the engine doesn't recommend over 25. It's got an oil uh, warning light. It's got your oil sending unit right there. So if you get into trouble, if it starts uh, sucking oil, you want to get that off uh, the hill as soon as possible. But uh, really nice. I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. Look at the size of this carriage down here. This is massive. You can see that. And these uh, twin sets of these rollers. Uh, and then the, the, the dry right there. This thing is built like a tank. <clears throat> so for my first mod, I want to let everybody know, uh, they sell this extra 
uh, guard back here, brush guard that goes underneath it. Um, I think it's like a hundred bucks, whatever. And it's plastic. They have one over there, big one, but people say this one is really necessary because it'll knock off the belt, the drive belt, then you're stuck. So I just made my own real quickly, whipped it up there, uh, cover my wells with zinc coating, drill the holes for the, the nut that uh, holds this assembly on there. But that's a, a 10 gauge steel right there. So that'll keep sticks and branches from getting up in there and <clears throat> causing damage. I like this, it's got that hose there to drain it. So you just undo that, stick it out here and uh, drain it out without making a mess all over your engine. There's your oil cooler right there. This is really <clears throat> a nice engine. I've heard a lot of good things about the Vanguard engine. So if you guys want to leave some comments about uh, do's and don'ts about this engine, your experience with this engine, I'm really curious. So, uh, again, really adjustable seat here. It comes with a seat belt. This is the lumbar lumbar support here. <clears throat> uh, parking brake tells you where to set your throttle there for uh, engaging the, the soft start PTO. Uh, I already adjusted the... Uh, the controls in the seat all the way forward so I can push the release. You push all the way on this lever and that lifts it up and then this one catches it. So to put it down, you gotta take the weight off with this pedal, push this all the way forward, then that allows the uh, deck to go down to whatever level, lever you, level you set on there. Comes with a uh, 12 volt um, power socket out there and a uh, little cubby hole and drink holder. I think I'm gonna put my own air attached to the ROPS because I usually do a lot of rough terrain. <clears throat> this has the, the swing away blades, the uh, like the uh, brush hogs. I don't know if you've seen those folks. Uh, let me jump up here and set this to the, the highest setting here. So you can get a look at these. I'll set this under here. But yeah, they have a lot of videos of these doing work, Tractor Bob, doing grass and stuff. And because it has that slasher kind of blade on it, it doesn't do the neatest job, it's first pass, but it's really fast. It's supposed to go up to 11 miles an hour. So these are the blades, the swinging blades. That's a third of an inch thick, 0.3 something. But uh, they're really, there's three spindles and they're made of cast iron. It's really a, a nice uh, setup there. They drop down, and like I said, the closer I get it to the ground is two inches. It says three on the dial, but I dropped it down a little bit more. So it goes down to three inches. So anyway, uh, I just tried it out at the neighbor's yard there for about 15 minutes, and, and it was really thick grass. That's why it's covered with grass. It was wet real early in the morning. <clears throat> and uh, it, it was... Uh, um, I, I, I pushed it and I pushed it into the thick grass. It killed it, but it, it, it's so low to the ground and there was really thick bunches of grass. It stalled the, the motor because I can't ask it to do unreasonable. They probably have to have a hundred horsepower to, to go through that kind of stuff. And, but anyway, uh, I just slowed down and, uh, raised the, the deck up to the seven inches, then made two passes. Second pass took it right down to, to the three inches. Really nice job. But uh, really nice, comfortable seat, adjustable armrests. So you can adjust the heights with them right there, up or down to make you comfortable. And of course the levers are adjustable. Uh, but uh, yeah, dual fuel tanks, I think seven gallons each. A lot of the stuff you've heard before, if you've seen these videos, but if not, if you're seeing the first time on my uh, YouTube, <clears throat> uh, I urge you to check them out, look at them. Because I, I, honestly, I'm thinking about replacing my vent track with this thing here because my vent track over there with all its toys and tools and implements, I don't use very many of the implements. And if I do need uh, to move some dirt, I got my Bobcat or my M7060 over there to do the real heavy lifting. So um, I got plenty of implements. I got a a blower, the uh, grapple bucket, the stump grinder, and a, 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 a rake, a, a grading blade, and the six foot flail deck. To, this is uh, November, Sunday, November, what is this, uh, 5th or something, 4th? Daylight savings time here in California. 
So if you're interested, shoot me a, a text, or whatever. I'll probably be selling that 22 foot trailer. It's a PJ trailer too. So I'm selling all that, probably about 50 grand. Uh, need to get rid of that, but I'll save money using this one. This is, seems to be faster, more maneuverable, <clears throat> easier to get around uh, trees and corners because it uh, it's a zero turn and it's supposed to just really stick to, to hills. So anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in.